Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Volvo XC70. All XC70s are all-wheel drive, but all-wheel drive can be different. Before styling in 2003, there was a simple viscous clutch in the rear axle drive, and this is not the best choice from any point of view. The permeability with it increases slightly, mainly only on light snow and on surfaces where the wheels are not buried. But the controllability of a car with such a clutch is somewhat strange. The rear axle can be pulled to the side by an unexpected effort. But a viscous coupling mainly suffers from a loss of efficiency only due to the aging of the working fluid and failures of the free wheel clutch, but practically doesn't require maintenance. After restyling, the third hole decks was installed here, which added both reliability and controllability, not to mention decent cross-country ability. True, hole decks requires maintenance at least once every 30-40 thousand kilometers. Occasionally you can also encounter wiring failures, especially if, when servicing the coupling, careless mechanics broke off the connector clips or damaged the wires. After one and a half hundred thousand mileage, the clutch will almost certainly require a global cleaning of accumulated dirt, and if the oil was rarely changed, the pump was replaced or restored. The mechanical part of the transmission doesn't bring strong problems, but no one is injured against small ones. In urban cars, the resource of the intermediate support of the propeller shaft is lower than expected, and sometimes it is necessary to replace the bearing at hundreds of thousands of mileage. The problem, most likely, lies in the strong heating of the shaft tunnel by the exhaust system and the poor readiness of the bearing for such loads. The angle gear, which many call the transfer case, is a pretty delicate thing. First, the loss of oil and depth of bearings, shafts and even the housing is possible. Unfortunately, according to the regulations, the oil there is eternal, which means that it is not changed and the level is not checked. Meanwhile, it lives through the oil seals and the joint of the body. Without oil, the gearbox can work for quite a long time, sometimes even the shafts corrode due to the presence of moisture, but the bearings, although whining, somehow do their job. So the oil needs to be changed at least once every 60,000, and then the bearings and gear pairs will remain intact. Unfortunately, preventative repairs are usually not done, and the handout is repaired when it buzzes or just died. A standard repair kit made of bearings and shafts cost about 7,000 rubles, but if the housing is not longer perfect, it is easier to replace the entire assembly. When replacing, you will have to drain the oil with a syringe with a tube. There is no drain plug. Broken splines and chipped teeth are often the result of working with an overly powerful motor. Engines with a volume of 2.4 and 2.5 liters are perfectly tuned to more than 450 nm, but the total moment after the box is capable of breaking even the gear teeth of the gearbox. For those who like to play drag racers or simply press on the gas on bumps and rails or aggressively skid, torsional vibrations in the transmission finish off the gearbox in the first place. The propeller shaft and the rear gearbox usually follow. The gearboxes are strong enough for the car, there are two series of manual gearbox. Before styling are strong enough for the car. Before styling there was basically a 5-speed M58 gearbox, after styling with diesel engines a 6-speed M66 also appears. Both are very good, although the 6-speed is somewhat softer and often suffers from bearing problems, but such a contract box is cheaper. In the basic configuration, both boxes have very expensive dual mass flywheels. Most automatic transmissions are Icing Warner AW5550, 5551, 5-speed gearboxes. In 2006, along with the powerful D5244 D4 diesel engine, a newer 6-speed TF80SC was installed, and in the last model year it was installed on all diesel cars. A feature of all Icing transmissions of this generation is the high sensitivity of the well body to dirt and overheating and we note the complexity of its rest rate. When working with dirty oil, the material of the plate itself is damaged, and the wheel body is supplied as spare parts only as an assembly. Partially, the problem with repair is solved by non-original solenoids and kits for restoration of channels from Zonax, but in any case it is expensive, and diagnostics require a stand and a good specialist. The blocking linings of the gas turbine engine on these boxes are single and do not withstand sprinter drivers well, but with quite operation they can travel 200 to 150,000 km before being replaced. The heat exchanger in the radiator is a time bomb, especially if the original value of radiator is still there. Until 2003, the heat exchanger seals allowed antifreeze to enter the ATF, which led to soaking of the clutches and clogging of the valve body with cardboard debris, followed by oil starvation. Well, to overhaul, of course. Then the situation was corrected, but the heat exchanger proved to be a rather mediocre way of cooling the box, especially in the summer and taking into account the tendency of the car to contaminate the radiator package. 
Overheating of the automatic transmission exacerbates oil problems, so using an external radiator on a value is the key to a long transmission life. Better complete with an external oil filter and always with an oil change at least once every 50 60,000. You can even twice as often, especially for racers. The first revisions of the Volvo valve body, which were installed before 2003, are distinguished by an increased tendency to contamination and a small resource of solenoids. Wizards highly recommend in this case the installation of a new version of the plate in the assembly, new or even used. After 2005, the box received not only a new name, AW5551, but also a more reliable valve body, the ability to manually shift gears and higher reliability in general. In principle, these boxes still allow clean and cool, 70-80 degrees oil, but even with serious pollution and wear, they do not cause trouble with jerking and blouse. A new revision of the automatic transmission is strongly recommended for installation, but when buying a car with a 5551 gearbox, you need to evaluate the condition of the gearbox more carefully and perceive all the visible manifestations of the first call as a potential need for overhaul and not just cleaning the valve body. The automatic transmission ICN TF80SC is a continuation of the same line and generally has the same features, but further design improvements have made it even more adaptable, more resistant to dirt and more durable. Here you also need to protect the valve body from dirt and you don't have to worry about the mechanics. A little less often you can encounter problems with wiring and sensors, it has a slightly stronger gas turbine engine and less wear of the linings. The resource as a whole has grown a little, especially with careful operation, but the box is much more expensive for repairs, so take this into account when buying. There are not that many engines on the XC70. On cars of the first years, you can find engines B5234 T7 and B5244 T3. After restyling a 2.5-liter engine of the B5244 T2 series appeared since 2005, B5244 T4. The main diesel engine before restyling is B5244 E3 and after D5244 T4 and D5244 T. All engines belong to the Volvo modular engine series. This means that they have an aluminum block, cast iron sleeves, a timing belt drive and a very interesting block and cylinder head design. The weak points of the motors of this series in general are also common. In gasoline engines, small problems include the low resource of the pump, which is driven by the timing belt, and therefore the engine is very sensitive to its quality. The not very good location of the phase control valve in case of a leak, which happens with runs over 200,000, leads to the fact that oil from the valve pours exactly onto the timing belt. The service belt is heavily loaded and often, if it breaks, it is wound around the crankshaft pulley, after which the timing belt falls off and the valves meet the pistons. The crankcase ventilation system is also far from ideal here. Although the oil separator and oil trap have been modified several times, the hoses and check valves still require inspection and replacement after 6-7 to seven years of operation. The consequences of poor operation of ventilation system is not only the ingress of oil into the intake, oiling of the intercooler and increased detonation, but also oil leaks, oiling of the timing belt and problems with ignition coils and lambdas. The long and rather complicated intake requires attention and accuracy during any work. Of the serious problems, there is only one – on turbocharged engines. Liners inflate in the upper part and then they break where the thickness of the block jacket is smallest, in the area of the compensation slot between the cylinders. Liner vibrations also cause frequent damage to the cylinder head gasket in this place. The problem most often occurs on engines with a volume of 2.5 liters, all variants of B5254T. But motors for 2.3 and 2.4 liters of the good tuning are also subject to the problem. It is easy to identify the problem. Almost always antifreeze enters the cylinder, which can be seen from the condition of the candles and the excess pressure in the cooling system. The rupture of the sleeve is clearly visible with the endoscope. Otherwise, these are excellent motors, which even in a turbocharged version are capable of passing more than 300,000. True, due to a number of features, they are not cheap to repair. Since the cylinder head cover is the upper part of the camshaft beds and the crankcase is the camshaft covers and contains part of the oil system, the unit requires the use of only the correct oil-soluble sealant during assembly and throughout cleaning of all surfaces and machining in case of damage to the camshaft and crankshaft beds requires advanced personal qualifications. Diesel versions of engines also have huge health. Among the Short comments we note a slightly higher vibration load due to not a very successful intake design and rockets in the timing drive, which do not like higher RPM, they sometimes break off on older motors. On engines after restyling the DPF, the filter turned out to be capricious. 
requiring very frequent trips on the highway for normal operation. Some common problem with all motors is the very tight installation of the radiators. With age, this leads to progressive overheating in normal use and increased wear of the radiator fans. In general, keep it clean. A complex suspension scheme is prone to vibrations. This seems to be a generic feature for all Swedish cars. Otherwise, these are probably some of the best European motors. Reliable, resourceful and gasoline, also with good potential for tuning. On this, information about the problems of the Volvo XC70 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.